This is the last of a three-part video course that will show you how to configure your blueprint in Assistance PSA. This tutorial will focus on project types and project status. After its completion, you will understand the notions behind them and will also be able to create them in PSA. Project types will categorize a project into different classifications. They are generally based on your lines of business and can be used for reporting and filtering. Here are some examples of project types used within different types of organizations. Project status will indicate the overall status of a project. They can also be used for reporting and filtering. Here are some examples of project status. Best practice will be to give them a sequential number so that they appear in a specific order when displayed in the different menus of the solution. To create both your project types and project status in Assistance PSA, click on Settings. And in the next screen, open the PSA Tables menu. Let's start by creating your project types. Click on the table and hit the New button. In the next screen, enter a description. The creation of your first project type is now completed. Click Save and New to define another one. Once you've created all your project types, simply save and close the window. You will see them in the list display of your table. Now, let's create your project status. Click on the table and hit the New button. The creation of your project status is as easy as with your project types. All you need to do is enter a description. Just remember that best practice is to give your project status a sequential number so that they appear in a specific order when displayed in the different menus of the system. You are now ready to create your own project status and project types in Assistance PSA. Your next step is to do the exercises defined in the lab Project Status and Project Types. 